Welcome to Caddy Quick Clips, the two minute guide to successful drawing and modelling with Caddy. Let's take a look at how we can rotate objects in our drawings using Caddy's con context sensitive menu. So first of all we will select our object, so we can do that either individually, uh, collectively using the drag rectangle, uh, left to right all objects need to be enclosed, right to left just cut or enclosed, so we can do that or we could double click, select a whole group of objects as we've done here. Having selected our, our objects we right click, go to rotate and it says enter rotation angle, so that's down on our command line here and there's a zero entered with the blue highlight indicating that if we over type it that's exactly what we'll do. But if we select say 90 degrees, enter that, it says indicate the point about which to rotate, well if I snap to the, the center here we'll see what it's done, it's moved it around a positive 90 degree rotation because anti-clockwise is a positive rotation. So if we undo that, that will uh, put us back to where we were, we can select it again, rotate, again put in uh, an angle, so we'll put in minus 90 this time enter that about the same point and you'll see it takes us a, po uh, a negative direction which is a clockwise rotation. Undo that, select it again and go to rotate and here we have zero for dynamic. I'm going to accept that this time. So instead of uh, simply indicating the, the point it says indicate the point about which to rotate so we can choose that point there but then it asks us for a rotation handle so I can pick a point maybe here and you see we can swing it around so it's 45 and, and through to the angle we want so we can line it up very quickly and very easily so that's how we can use our, our rotate if we're wanting to do more than just a simple rotate then what we can do is we can choose the transformations tools and from within that group of tools rotate and we see that we have more options available to us here in the way that we select objects uh, and whether we're actually just rotating the original as we've done here using the context sensitive menu or copying or indeed repeating so if we're making a daisy wheel type pattern for instance we can use that one very quickly very easily the same sort of principles apply uh, and just produce the desired results for more Caddy Quick Clips and information on maximising your own productivity using Caddy, go to www.caddysoftware.com.